Right, welcome back to the plasma project. This is the very first test just to make sure the fundamentals work. The front panel is now in place, but uh, nothing's screwed down yet. And the labels are a bit Heath Robinson, as you can see. Right, we'll switch on. Okay, I don't know if you can see this on the video, but these are the um, eight 16 bit registers here, and another eight here. So we've got 16. 16 bit registers, there's a 32 bit accumulator, and then you've got the uh, memory contents for a specific address which you can set on these switches. Then there's PC, the program counter, and then the instruction register, which is the instruction at this address. Uh, we've got status lights across the top, then a row of control switches. And then there's two 32 switch rows for loading data into the registers, which is how you load a program. And another 32 for breakpoints. And you can set a, a breakpoint on the contents of any of the registers or the accumulator. Now at the moment nothing will happen. Try running or stepping. Uh, nothing happens because there's no microcode loaded. As I mentioned on the first video, this is a microcoded machine, so it needs a microcode to tell it how to interpret the instructions in the store. The microcode is on these three lights here. Uh, this is in binary, so nothing's lit, so that says no microcode loaded. So the way we get a microcode in is we set the number we want on the top four switches on the load bank. So if I say number one, then we do a startup sequence, which is reset. We do set FMP. FMP stands for force microprogram load. And the FMP light comes on. Now when we do run, it will load the microcode and the microcode number will be displayed on these three lights. So run. And there we are. It's loaded. Machine's halted, microcode one's loaded. So now we can do reset and reset FMP, which knocks this light out, and the machine's now ready for loading instructions. Now, I won't be doing that in this video. We can see what the contents of the store are. It will be random at the moment, so that you never know. There might be some instructions that do something. PC is currently zero. I'll do a step and see what happens. I don't know what the instruction is offhand. It's loaded something into register 7 and it's gone on to address 1. Step. Gone to address 2 and it's done something else which we'll discover later. I'll give it a try running. Let's see what happens. It will probably come up with either an illegal instruction or a halt. I should be surprised if it does anything sensible. But We'll try it. Run. Oh, well, there we go. So the random contents of store were being interpreted. Must be running through a loop here. We can stop and carry on single stepping. So that all works. We can reset and start again. So that's okay. Now there is a speed control somewhere. Uh, yeah, the next switch is slow and medium speeds. At the moment it's running full speed. If I flip that to slow, the slow light should come on. Oh, that's amazing, that works as well. I'm not sure why this is flashing here, but anyway. Next up is a medium speed. Medium. And then we can do run full speed. 
I say this is very early stages. This all works on the simulator, but this is the first time the, the actual mechanics of the machine have been assembled. I'm going to try another microcode. So we'll set microcode 2 on the switches. So we do reset, set FMP, and run. And then we've got microcode 2 loaded. Reset, reset FMP, and again we can single step through. That would be the same random contents of store, but it will be interpreted differently because it's a different microcode. So I'll try running, see what happens. Okay, well it's loaded register 9, register A and register C with, with all Fs. Stop. And the final microcode is the advanced one. Those first two were uh, for educational purposes, which are very simple um, order codes, which we can go into later on. Those just have 16 instructions each, and you can more or less assemble instructions in your head because it's a very simple structure. Now, microcode 3 is the advanced one, so we do reset, set FMP, run, and there we go, microcode 3 loaded. Reset, reset FMP, and we'll see what this one does. I'll try running, see what happens. Okay, it says illegal, so it's loaded some registers and done things and then hit an illegal instruction. Reset, run, same again. Okay, that concludes the, uh, the first testing, so I'm quite pleased with that. Now we'll look at the uh, instruction codes in more detail next time and see how we load up registers. Okay, right, well, see you next time.